You know, guys, in this high-stress, hectic world we live in, we all can be prone to, you know, flying off the handle every now and again. Families, finances, friends, careers, they all create a perfect storm, even for some charming television host like myself. Every now and again, leave the lessons of good decor behind, and even if for a moment, stretch your legs a bit. Well, I'll tell you what, this morning we have some tips on how we can manage the mental melee, the lady who puts the Q into the title of Queen of Cotillion, Pamela Iring. Oh, Tyler, I've missed you. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. How are you? Great, great. Good. Using my emotional intelligence see, today. Yes, indeed. Let's, let's talk about that yeah. EQ versus IQ. Tell me, tell me what that yeah. really, the EQ number, how do we get there? Well, you know, IQ was that intelligence factor. And, and right. a, lot of, a lot of the world thought, you know, if you have IQ, you're that intelligent, you're going to be a outstanding performer. Sure. But what they found in the 90s, around 1995, was that, no, these people with average IQs who had emotional intelligence right. outperformed by 70% those with the highest IQs. Sure, if, if Sheldon Cooper has taught us nothing, it's, it's that, right? <laughs> Perfect example. That Perfect. someone who's brilliant sometimes yeah. lacks the, the, the ability to cope with the social day-to-day mm -hmm. -day interactions. Right, right. And, and it starts with, you know, when we talk about emotional intelligence with yourself first. Mm -hmm. You know, understanding your own emotions. Right. And then how you manage your own emotions. So we all have emotions. Sure. It's how we are aware of them. You know, are we feeling happy, sad, right. all those different emotions and then how do we self-manage those so when you were saying when you're intense and stressed and right and you how do you identify you know that and then what do you do about it so what do you do when you, mm. when you come into work and you're, you're already in a bad mood because the dog ran away from you you're late for work you come in it's a hot day and you're sweaty and you got the co-worker or somebody you just like oh. Yeah. I mean, how, how do you how do you how do you maintain your 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 professional acumen? Right. Well, being self-aware starts at say, oh my gosh, I've had this worst day, mm -hmm. and so when you walk into the office, realize I'm leaving this in the car. Okay. I'm just dumping this in the car. In fact, I'm going to throw it in the trunk, be done with it, <laughs> and when I come in, I'm going to put on a smile, and that's right. called that self-management. That's okay. where you transition from that emotion you just had and calm yourself. Sometimes you have to just take a moment. You kind of hit the pause button. Yeah. 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 Right. Hit the pause button, stop for a moment, and go, okay, I'm not going to play this when I get into the office. Right. In a, in a professional setting, if that happens, is it acceptable to say, you know, I've, I've got to I've gotta go powder my nose for a second. If you just, yeah. if you feel like that annoying little, <laughs> and you're like, you know what, I need a second. Yeah. yeah, well, and it's like when you're trying to um, hold things in, sometimes it doesn't work that well. Right. And maybe you're emotional and you're upset and you're wanting to cry, for sure. instance. And you don't want to cry in front of your coworkers and, you know, you're just like, I'm just going to go get it out, go to the restroom, let it out, or shut my door. If I have a door, I'm just going to get sure. it out, Woo! get it done. And then, you, kinda, you, you, and then re, you, you realign and you come yeah. back in, you pull up your big girl yeah. pants and you're mm -hmm. good to go, right? That's ex yeah. exactly yeah. what I do. How do you know that? Oh my God. <laughs> Not She's bad. so good. <laughs> good stuff. Of course, we're going to put details at abccolumbia.com mm -hmm. and some other great tips. You know, yes. uh, put yourself in the person's shoes and things are a great way to do it too. Yeah. Right? And, and understanding the, the next part of em emotional intelligence is understanding someone else's emotions. Sure. So we have some tips that we can share with you on that too. Great stuff. Pamela Iring from the Protocol School of Washington. Your you. emotional intelligence. I may not be able to spell Pennsylvania, but when it comes to hanging out, I'm good at that. Stay with us. We're coming back. <laughs>